Thank you, Chris Felson. And in the showcase this morning is the Langsford Men's Chorus. Stephen Seagraves co-founded the Langsford Men's Chorus in 1999, and he is here this morning along with Dave McDonald from the Chorus. And welcome, gentlemen. Good morning, Dave. Good morning, Dave. Uh, you know, you had a, 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 a great tour this summer, but before we get to that, Stephen Seagraves, tell us a little bit about uh, the Langsford Men's Chorus and its founder, Harry Langsford. We were actually founded in, in honor of Harry Langsford after he passed away several years ago. And many of us sang with him as students and undergrads at mm -hmm. State University. And I'm, I know that you know this because you sang with the Glee Club sure. uh, in your tenure there. And Back uh, right when we wore togas, remember that? That was right, right when right was after, new. <laughs> yeah, right after the Earth had cooled. That's how long ago that was. Yes. <laughs> And many people can say that they sang with Doc, including Brazil Bernard, and, oh, yeah. and uh, you know many uh, uh, Milt Olson, who's been at Michigan mm -hmm. Tech for a number of years. Uh, a lot of people he'd recognize in the choral music world, especially in Michigan, but also nationwide, have sung with Dr. Langsford. And, uh, and he made such an impression. He made such an impact on his students that, uh, uh, out of respect for him and out of the love for the choral art, Dave McDonald, a lot of people decided to get the chorus back together. Now you're. You're not uh, affiliated any longer officially with Wayne State University, right? No, that's correct. Yeah, um, it's a separate organization. But many of the members of the Langford mm -hmm. Men's Chorus either were Wayne State alumni sure. or were Glee Club alumni or yeah. sang with Harry and other organizations. Now, Stephen Seagraves, you folks just came back from a, a terrific tour this summer. Uh, tell us about the singing competition. It was an amazing tour, actually. We were inspired to do it from trips that we had taken, again, with Harry when we were students at Wayne. And this was a, a place called Chlengachlen, which you say have, that again. have to drink a few beers before you can say that. Oh, right. say that again. Chlengachlen. It's in Wales, yeah. and it's a competition, one of the oldest uh, in the world. It's a singing competition. And actually, it's uh, where Pavarotti got his start. A lot of people don't know I that. I didn't know but that. He was in an Italian group that won first prize there many, many years ago. How about that? And uh, we, uh, as students, were able to take this um, tour with Doc, take tours with Doc, and sing in this mm -hmm. competition. It was a great experience, and I had wanted to go back for years, and uh, we just uh, had come to a point with the organization where I think we were ready to go, and it ended up being a great tour. We started in London, went through Cambridge, went to, uh, the middle of England, in a place called Barton under Needwood. They have great names of villages <laughs> there. And then we went to Coventry, and then uh -huh. went to the competition in Wales for a few days, and then afterwards we ended up in Manchester. And after that, that's, that's where the, the organized tour ended, and then people kind of went their separate right. ways. And, you, and the chorus did well, I understand. We took second prize. Fantastic. Uh, in our first attempt, and uh, wow. we were all real pleased. And in fact, uh, the prize wasn't as big as the fact that I felt like the guys sang as best as they possibly could. And it was very <laughs> musical, it was communicative, and all yeah. those things that Dr. Langsford uh, instilled in us uh, for so many years. What a great experience. How many men are in the chorus now? We're around 45, I would say. We're probably pushing 50 yeah. in regular rehearsal. And I think we took, what, 34 singers, Dave? Yes, 34, and then you and Walt, the yeah, our accompanist, Walt, Walt, Walt Corey. Oh, yeah. That's and so, Walt yeah. Corey um, was the staff accompanist for many years. I think at Cast, Cast Tech. Tech. Yeah. 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 And, uh, and Chuck Gleason yeah. sings in the group, and he was the choral director for Cast Tech for many years and was my honors choir director back in the wow. 70s. <laughs> now, that must feel odd to actually be directing your <laughs> former teacher. It's very right? odd, <laughs> but, but also a very a big honor because I think yeah. very highly of him as well. Dave McDonald, tell us about your folk concerts uh, upcoming. Well, we have two Advent concerts in December. We have one on December 5th at First Presbyterian Church in Royal Oak mm -hmm. at 7.30. Very good. And then two days later, uh, the First Presbyterian Church in Brighton. We're going out to the uh, boondocks to sing for those people that haven't heard this kind of music before. That's great. On right. Sunday at 4 o'clock. Okay, sounds great. And uh, tell us, what, you've got some auditions upcoming right now, uh, Stephen C. Grace, for people that are interested in the course. And we should mention, I've got the website up here uh, on uh, the computer in the in the air studio here, langsfordmenschorus.org. That's right. Uh, all one word, L-A-N-G-S-F-O-R-D, and then menschorus.org. And you can right. read about the concerts and uh, go see a picture of the group and uh, right. bio information, and uh, you can even blog along. So anyway, tell us about uh, tell us about the audition. If people are interested in singing. Uh, what do they What do they need to know, and what do they need to bring? I guess. Well, they just bring themselves and their voice with them. And we rehearse on Sunday evenings at Highland Park Baptist Church, which um, coincidentally happened to be the church where, for many years, Dr. Langsford was the organist oh. and choir master years ago. 
and they're kind enough to let us rehearse in their choir room on Sunday night from 6.30 to 8.30. Okay. If anybody w is interested in auditioning, come on in. Uh, it's basically, um, if you've ever sung with Dr. Langford, you're in. Uh, that's the way we, we do it. Uh, <laughs> I but like if you, it. But if you haven't, if you haven't, all I would need to do is sit down with you and get acquainted with your voice, you know, what your range is, and okay. you hear and things like that. But it's a pretty simple process and pretty unintimidating. So uh, if you like to sing and, you, you know, especially men's chorus music, you come to the right place. Okay, are you planning any more tours? What's uh, what's in the hopper? In three years, absolutely. Yeah. We've already uh, declared, uh, and, and in blood, we've declared that we're going back oh, in 2011, great. and uh, our goal is to be the best course there, uh, and whatever happens after that, then you know, we don't have much control over that. So, yeah. But uh, actually, we do have um, two other events that are coming up that are of interest, that might be of interest to your listeners, and one of them is, uh, um, well, one of them that they could attend is Sunday, October 26th, and that is the 25th anniversary reunion concert of the 1983 Wayne State University Chamber Singers who oh. went to the Ice Deadfoot in yep. Dunguckland, and they won third prize with Dr. Langsford uh, at the helm. And uh, that concert, Sunday, October 26th at 4 o'clock p.m., and it will also include the second prize-winning Langsford Men's Chorus singing on the concert, and Maggie Reese who is a soloist and in 1983 um, won the Young Singer of the Year competition. She was named first in the world um, over in Wales at that same competition. So she'll be doing a short set as well. In addition to that, I wanted to tell you that we're having a rehearsal retreat with Jerry Blackstone. You know Jerry from Young. Sure. Yeah. He's a fine director, and he's going to come out and do a workshop with us, uh, kind of our fall retreat. So we're excited about that as well because we think so highly of him. The Langsford Men's Chorus, and you can go to their website, and it's uh, all one word, langsfordmenschorus.org. Upcoming concerts, and uh, they're looking for new members. They rehearse on Sunday nights. Uh, Highland Park Baptist is in Livonia, I it's believe? It's on Lasser in Lasser. Southfield. Oh, Southfield, And okay. it's between 11 and 12 mile on the east side of the road. It's closer to 12 mile. Okay. And we, again, we rehearse in the choir room, which is on the second floor of the building. Okay, so information, just go to the website, check it out. There's some telephone numbers that you can call there. LangsfordMensCourse.org. Dave McDonald and the conductor Stephen Seacrest, thanks so much for being with us this morning. Our pleasure. Thank you. Thank you, Dave. And uh, we've got 16 minutes now before the hour. We have.